Hi guys, how are you? And now I got this package from Decathlon Alabang and all the way from Manila. It is shipped here in Dabao del Norte for me to get this. What do you think what is inside? Let me open it for you. And now I have this thing here. Uh, here I can open this one. Let's see. Okay, and now if you see, uh, they are not using the bubble wrap, and it seems like it still protect the product properly. And for me, it's better because actually plastic pollutes the environment. So I guess it's a good packaging. Good job, Decathlon. So let me open here. To see the product even the tape is not made by plastic nice and when I see the package I thought they bring me wrong product because when I see it it looks like a paddle for a boat I don't have the boat by the way but if ever, ah, I can see the product now. Okay. So then, current. Ninety five to one twenty centimeter. So this is the receipt I got from the package. So the product is actually cost one thousand seven hundred, and there is a shipping cost of uh, four hundred and one hundred. So one thousand seven hundred plus six hundred. The total cost I paid on delivery is two thousand. 200 pesos inside this package here there is this two screws and this two things over here I will explain later on and the manual the manual just explained how to screw left or right and how you lock it that's it and now I will show you how I'm going to fix this in my door but before that let me explain this pull-up bar has two types so there is one model it's 70 to 95 centimeter so I have door here this is for the smaller one it's actually 75 centimeter but i decided to put in this main door over here and this door is 95 centimeter i chose this one because for pull up bar wider grip is much better with a smaller one because it also develop your shoulder more so now let me fix it for you come with me over here so when you got this one if you see here it doesn't fit uh, exactly because this door is 95 centimeter exactly so if you want to fix it here so what you are going to do is first extend this one according to your door width so here just extend it like that so I know this bar is until 95 centimeters, so I will stretch this one until the maximum. So I can see the marker here. 
so like that so if you see here it is reaching now to the end so now what I will do is to hold one side and just turn this side like that so now it is fixed but for the beginning it is good if you have the tools like this so if you put this one here so you will see that your bar is 100% level so you are making sure that for safety and to make it balanced but for the first time it is good if you have this kind of tool this is a level just to make sure your bar is 100% horizontal or else if you don't have like this you can measure this part until the end of the bar this part until the end of the door frame and it should be equal this one is the lock area so if you put it like that you push it through here so this part is locked now it's not going to move the main difference of this model between the older version is this part over here so if you push this one straight here so this bar won't lock anymore so if you are doing some exercises like let's see like this so this bar won't won't uh, rotate so for your safety if you want more safety you can also lock this bar over here together with the attachment included with it if you see this part from the packaging so the main purpose of this is to screw like this and you just screw it like this so here I made an outline a circle from the bar itself I put this thing in the middle and screw it like that okay so I have this piece together with the other side I will do the same so the same thing I put an outline circle from here from the middle I will put the screw so now both side have this attachment from here so what you are going to do is just put this one in the middle so first you need to shorten this one put it like that okay it's fitting perfectly and now so now so now the screw is inside here plus you can also lock this thing here like that so the bar won't fall down and it won't rotate either so safety is the best thing with this bar compared with the older version and today I'm going to put this one up to do my pull up training so I will keep this one up here just screw it like that okay and turn the middle part of the bar but again to make it level just keep this part over here in the middle and now it's balanced tight it again like that for safety push the safety lock this blue thing over here and now you can try the stability it is really good and now it's fine so if you do the pull up so you can do like that now I will put this one in the middle over here and if you notice I have only one uh, pin like this I keep it here not up because 
from this position, I will make some exercises that it is quite dangerous compared to the upper part. And if you keep this one from here, just make sure it's tight. And from here, just keep this lock from here. So here, this is not turning now. And also, this bar is not going to pull down because of the safety pin in the middle. So now, if I will do some training like this, it's a safe. To remove this again, unlock this one like that and screw it. And here you need to unscrew a little bit longer because of the lock, it has deeper attachment from here. And now I will keep this one down here, just like that. And now, I put it in the lower position from here. And in this position, you can do some exercises, like push up, like that. You can also put your legs from here, if you want to do some sit-up training. And there are some accessories that you can use with it. For example, I have this rubber band. For example, if I will keep this bar from down from here, so I can keep it like that for some exercises. Let's say you have this rubber band and you can hook it from here. This exercise is the one of my favorite. If you want to train your oblique muscles, so this is the best way you can train with it. Hook it from down like that, okay, and hook it like this and move it sideways like this one two one If you have some TRX, or in this case, I have this DST, you can do a lot of training with this bar as well. So you can hook it up like that. And let's say you want to train your back, you can train like this. What else? You can train your tricep. Bicep. You can train your bicep.
at the end if you will ask me which model is better the older version of the Mios pull up bar or this new version of the current one for me in terms of stability I prefer the older version because they don't have this hollow thing over here and I feel it more solid unlike this one with some part which is not that stable but I like for safety reason of this newer version especially this lock option from here if you see my previous video I always tell them that when you rotate the bar you have always to keep in one position you have to avoid the position in which it will unlock the bar but those problem will be removed by this option over here thank you guys for watching with me in this video and if you think this equipment is good enough for your training then i highly recommend for you to get one of this and i will share the link down below of this video where i get this one and also if you think that there are exercises that you cannot make with this i also made one equipment like this and i built it in the backyard of my house and i show also what are the equipments i purchased how we assemble it and how it looks like and also the trainings that i make with this i also mentioned on my next video and also i also recommend you to watch that one thank you so much and i hope seeing with you on my next video bye bye